Hello and welcome back, friends, to Life is Strange. Um, here we're exploring the dormitory after possibly making friends with Victoria after sabotaging her because she was blocking her, what, catty girl shit? I'm gonna just summarize it with catty girl shit. So, yeah, uh, that, is, that is not a slate. Also, it says Red Rum. Nice, uh, nice shining reference. Just get to your room and grab Warren's flash drive. All right, fine. Be all pushy and stuff. Juliet, read this week's edition of Blackwell Totem. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Read plenty of missing poster signs or missing persons. Bathrooms, poster. I don't know that I need the fire alarm. It's good to note, man, I'm way close to the wall. Deer on campus, I guess. Nice atmospheric shot. Needs dusting. Um, as in, like, uh, in the print room? There's dust on the negative? Be alert on campus. Observe the following tips for your safety. Always be aware of your location. Always let a friend know where you are and where you're going. Always report any incident immediately to the campus authorities. Download free campus alert app. Um... That's actually all reasonably good fun. advice. Glad I'm not the only lonely nerd around here. Uh, so eggs. Thanks for the warning. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of a stupid sign. Anyway. Neat. Was ist das? The shot I can't go in. Looks like dorm bathroom. How thrilling. Um... Do I have to look at it? Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. That's... that's great. Very clever. Neat. I don't understand the... oh, no boys in the girls' bathroom. Very cute. Okay, it's a fire alarm. Missing person. More posters that I can't say I particularly care about. Don't let depression keep you down. Great. Max's room. Be the change you wish to see. Wow, these are all, like, all the most common. <laughs> that that poster is actually pretty funny. Um, all the super common quotes you see that are inspiring to college kids. I approve. I do genuinely approve of anything referencing pie. Okay, let's go to Max's room. Enough screwing around. Sweet guitar. Home sweet home. My favorite cocoon. That is actually a really nice dorm room. I guess this is a private academy. Let's check everything so out. So cheesy, but it makes me smile thinking of the day mom and I sewed that together. Got a message from mom, teddy bear. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. Okay, well, it's kind of cute, I guess. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. The cinematic contents of this flash drive are a graphic, life-altering, controversial nature, or of a. This collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer. I congratulate you on your taste and eagerly await your in-depth reviews of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. You see, our friends are classy. Not that I judge. Not the classiest of friends. I'm seriously gonna take a photo right now. Uh, it's a photo of me taking a photo. It's so meta. Great, great. Glad we had the stock. Power strip. Um. Okay. I imagine that will be relevant later. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. About the longer I what? wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. Aren't we all? Okay. We probably talked about Chloe earlier, but... Who knows? Good. Good. Contemplative guitar. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. Sweet. Don't you 
photos, sticky note, laptop. Where's my flash drive, man? Because I could water my plant. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. Yay. Happy plant. This consequence. Okay. Well, I suppose I don't actively want my plant to die. Let's look out the window. If I'm not looking through a viewfinder, I'm looking through a window. Always looking. As humans with active, fully functioning eyeballs tend to do. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HD TV. One day when you're not a student. It looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Oh shit. I do. I do need it back. I know, Kitten. I know it's bedtime. We'll get there soon. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Now I'm completely inconvenienced. Do I care? <sighs> Philip Lorca de Corsha, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Sorry for Look that. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. I do wish I were enough of a photography aficionado to pass judgment on these statements, but I'm not. Ah, da da. Wow's da. Only works if you press the right buttons. Okay. Something really should happen this episode, right? Ah, sweet cookies. I want a cookie. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. Why is it a sad birthday? Okay. Um. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Oh, great. Okay. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Um. Okay. Yes. What? Uh, what uh, appears to be the hey, problem? Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh yes, Max. I've you locked Dana in the room because we're cool. I don't know. Maybe that's how you guys roll. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. These are true facts. No, probably not. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Oh, fucking seriously? I guess I can just rewind if I mess it up. Uh, Juliet Mason. If you pause, you fucked it up. That was truly sad. Thanks for your concern, Max Caulfield. By the way, I can't Juliet rewind. Watson. I feel like such a cheater. Answer you, wuss. Oh, hey, Juliet. This is so stupid. Oh, yes, Max. I Juliet Watson, you be nice. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Ha ha, I can of overachieve I now. Thanks. I locked Dana in because she was sexting Zach, my boyfriend. Unbelievable. That is pretty rude. If you don't let me out, I will scream. How do you know? How do you know? Victoria Chase. You know her. You could say that. But why would Dana go after your boyfriend? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. Well, According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. So... Can I go inside, I please? Did. I know the proof is in her room. Okay. I gotta find Victoria's room. Probably not the murder room. Probably not the murder room. Probably not the murder room. Victoria's room. Well, now that we've found... Uh, I'm sure we should get a Gandhi quote. That's funny. Okay, well, next time, friends, we'll check out what Victoria is hiding in her room. Because that's how college, high school girls do. I can help Dana. And check out Victoria's room to find out if she is the kind of person I hope she's not. I'm sorry, game. I was taking too long. We'll, um, help out this impatient game next time on the BTPHD. Later, friends.